Hey everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I did this mini series, right, where I speed ran every single room in the community center except the bulletin board because God, I want to avoid that. And I said that I would revisit them uh, in due time to kind of see how much I've improved. And I think now is a great time to give the crafts room another go because if you recall, I freaking sucked last time. I was so bad. I, I It was took me over an hour to finish the crafts room, which looking at the leaderboard, is really bad so yeah we're gonna do that today my goal is obviously to improve my goal is sub 40 minutes and I know that seems like a lofty goal considering last time it took me a full hour but here's the deal I have a route that is very high risk high reward if everything goes right it'll be really really fast but everything's not gonna go right so we're gonna have to reset a lot which is it's it's gonna take a lot of patience but I don't know man I'm here all day so let's just I enough preface I just want to get started I'm excited man I'm getting serious I'm getting serious this speed run bug has bitten me and now I'm all in three two one go okay first thing we're doing is sleeping until spring 27 that should be easy enough on the 27th uh, if it's rainy we have to reset which kind of sucks uh, so I guess fingers crossed we're gonna cut 50 wood make a chest we're gonna forage the left side of the farm for those of you who don't know the way the forest farm works is that most forage in the valley is on a weekly timer so every Sunday it resets uh, like the night between Saturday and Sunday the forage resets uh, the forest farm doesn't work that way the forage just collects over the course of the whole season and then goes away when you when you enter a new season so if we go straight until spring 27 it'll be when the forage around the valley is at its most because it's a saturday and it'll also be when the forage on our farm is at its second most uh, which is good enough so we'll forge the left side of the farm uh we'll open the community center we'll get that cutscene, uh and then that'll be that'll be the 27th and then it'll be sleep again until summer 26th i really want to crush this so i'm a little nervous because i'm gonna be sad if i sit here and record for three hours and walk away with no improvement for pretty obvious reasons that would make me sad money is really important in this run so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be playing it safe a lot of times like if you want to be risky you can like skip grabbing these parsnips for a time save i'm gonna be playing it safe because i don't think i'll be able to play efficient enough to earn enough money for the route to be super effective all right fingers crossed for no rain if there's rain we have to reset and that would be a huge bummer to have to reset already good okay put down the bed idiot okay bad start cut 50 wood is goal number one uh well goal number one is deal with the cat okay i already see i see two leaks let's go ahead and do some scouting here there's also a morale that spawned uh off the farm so thanks for that okay let me let me go ahead and grab this now okay so we want 50 wood we're gonna leave the stumps behind okay that should be pretty much good yes it is okay now we're gonna go foraging let me let me clear out some space here there we go okay and there we go so forage is all taken care of so now we're gonna go back we're gonna go make ourselves a chest how did i miss that bush let's go over here i like making uh let's go grab that leak actually just in case we end up really needing it um all right there we go okay and the rest we hold on to actually we also are gonna need this eventually or just later it's fine okay i'm gonna grab everything even though i might not necessarily need it because i don't know man <laughs> i'm scared all right now we grab the daffodil and we go open the community center shut up i'm gonna leave that daffodil there because i don't think it's worth my time all right and now you run back normally you were supposed to exhaust here but again i said i, I said i was gonna play it safe money wise and i am i don't want to take the money penalty for that and also i forgot to ship a bunch of stuff before leaving so then i wouldn't have enough money uh for summer so yeah we're just gonna depart <laughs> the old-fashioned way it's a work in progress as always even though i do have a lot more experience speed running than i did last time we did this uh, I'm still not great. I, I, it's crazy how much that makes me happy though. It, it's crazy how much I've improved since last time I ran this because like I watched that speed. It hasn't even been that long, but like now I watch that speed run and I like cringe. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Okay. We got some cash. Very good. There were, I was such a wee, wee bab. I didn't know anything. I didn't know about the forage cycle. Imagine not knowing about the forage cycle. How freaking embarrassing is that? Imagine if you go on a blind date and like you sit down and, 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 and things are going great. And they're like, what is a forage cycle? It's like, ugh, oh my God. Freaking never mind, I guess. Oh, I did that. What, what did I just do? I did something by accident, but I didn't even see the talking window come up and I still went to bed really fast. Did I discover something? If I use like my scythe at the right time. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to experiment with this. Okay, I don't know how I did it. Okay, whatever, I'm done experimenting. I don't know what I did. At least it feels good that we haven't had to reset yet. 
That's fun, I guess. Okay, we need to remember to check mail on the 26th. It's the first thing we do. Then we go to the left and just gather a bunch of stone on our way. Stone and coal. And then we're gonna go down. We're gonna forge to the left. We're gonna go down south, check the cart, get our wizard cutscene, and then we're gonna donate to the community center. And then we're gonna sell everything we have. Need to keep track of how much coal we've gathered uh, so we don't have to buy extra clints. Spreading weeds have caused damage. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? What did they even damage? I have done nothing on the farm except harvest the the bounty of nature all right we're coming up on the 26th here we go let's crush it let's have a big day here check mail check mail okay i got the thing i needed okay now we're going to the left okay i want these rocks i need to be gathering stone now that we've leveled up foraging it's kind of a bummer for inventory space because now we're going to get more quality stuff which actually isn't great unlike in literally every other circumstance all right well let's go ahead and start gathering see there's some coal need that skip the geodes even though they sell for money and money's great they also give us a cutscene that we don't want let's go ahead and check our cart we want anything that can give us the exotic foraging bundle that's what we're looking for we already have four coal that's really good looking for cave carrots cactus fruits coconuts anything like that coconut there we go and the snow yam could be helpful, but in reality, not really. So, okay, so we'll have to check the card again, which is kind of a bummer. But the odds of not having to check the card again are so low that I'm not too upset. Okay, I really need to get a spice berry at the bus stop. Okay, now we're going to go back up through our farm, gather stone on the way, because we need 99 stone by the end of this. We can always buy some from Robin, because that's what we're going to do for, like, wood. But, okay, I probably shouldn't have gone out of my way. It's fine. I'm still learning. I'm going to keep using that as an excuse for everything. I'm just going to just totally shit the bed and then be like, I'm learning. That's pretty much what toddlers do. Pardon, please. Good lord. Oh, that grape. Nah, that grape is too far. That is just too far, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, store this and that. I've got one slot for- Yes! One slot for a spice berry is what I was gonna say. I'm still gonna forge the whole bus stop, because again, playing it safe. I left my scythe at home, which means I can't pick up forageables as fast, but I need the inventory space, because I and I need all my extra stuff, because I need to sell a lot of stuff today. And now, we're going to go to the community center, and I'm going to turn in spring and fall, spring and summer forage. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Give me the flower. Give it to me. Thank you. We're hoping for, like, 3,600 gold after we sell it to Pierre. I think, like, that ballpark is kind of what we're looking for. Okay, there we go. That was good. And now I'm leaving. Okay, now I just kind of hope that I get kind of close to Pierre's. I don't actually know. There's Sebastian. Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Oh, and, and I don't I don't sell these. Do not sell the coconut in the morale. Do not. Okay. Oh my god, I have so much money. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, we're gonna go to Clint's. And we're gonna buy 45 copper ore and one coal. I have so much money. Wow. Go me. There we go. Perfect. And now I return home. And we're gonna make a furnace. Uh, we can't yet. We can't yet. I didn't think that. I forgot. I, like, completely forgot about that. So we'll just, we'll do that tomorrow. Okay. So I need to grab all my coal and my stone. And now we're going to bed. And then we're gonna go outside. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we need our cutscene for Clint to give us the furnace recipe. There it is. Now I can make one furnace. Put it here and get to work. And then we'll smelt five copper bars. The reason we're smelting five copper bars is because we need a copper ax to chop hardwood. You need hardwood for the construction bundle. And now we're sleeping until fall 26. Nice, okay, our copper is all smelted, wonderful. And we're doing really well financially. So our play it safe mentality ended up being great for money. I don't know how great it'll be for time. <laughs> See you on the 26th of fall. If we crush this first try, this is gonna be a short video. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe I should tell a story instead of just sitting here in silence sleeping. Uh, I went to this event event in uh, a few days ago in DC called awesome con it was basically this like convention it was just a convention like a nerd convention pretty much so it's a lot of video game stuff there's anime stuff I still I need to watch anime I'm not literate at all in anime so I was just a bunch of anime stuff I didn't recognize and my friend had to be like a translator but it was really cool I got to try some games that were in like that hadn't been released yet I tried some demos and there was one that I really 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 liked called crescendo it was like a rhythm based platformer but in a way that has never been done before it was like you have to like jump at the same time as ambient sounds to not get like picked up by soundtrack it's great I love Loved it. I really liked the way it was made. It was super cool. I think there's a demo out on Steam right now. I'm not sure. And I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm still going to say check it out because I loved it. I thought it was really, really cool. But yeah, if you are also at Awesome Con in DC on Friday, 
Um, that's cool because I was there too. My uh, my cousin was wearing my merch and he got complimented on his shirt by someone who didn't even know it was for my channel. And I was like, oh, that makes me feel good. Okay, forge left side of farm. I need my axe. This is the hardest part for me, getting to the left side on in fall. Um, oh shoot, that's a dead end. God, I hate it. I should have brought my pickaxe. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just go ahead and do the forging, please. Oh God, am I even gonna be able to get in here without my pickaxe? My hubris. Okay, I'll just do this. Oh, I need that mushroom anyway. Please. Okay, good lord, that was so bad. I just, I can't handle that bit. Okay, we need a purple mushroom. Yes, okay, thank goodness. Now we need to do a cart check. Traveling cart check. What we really, really need, um, ooh, we are kinda out of space. Um, we need anything for the exotic foraging. Ugh, that's really unlucky, okay. I'm gonna go grab that blackberry as a fail save. Okay, that is mighty unfortunate. Let's see here. Uh, okay, now we gotta forge the bus stop and turn in everything we have to the community center. Okay, our cart luck has been less than ideal, but that's all right. I'll probably try this run again, regardless of how this one goes, uh, because that is what I see as a pretty good avenue for getting time back. It's just better cart luck. Plus, I, I clearly need practice with this whole getting through the farm deal, because I really struggle with this. Um, I need these. Oh, wait, how am I gonna... Ooh, okay, never mind. Hold on. How am I gonna... I need one more inventory space. I have to get rid of this, unfortunately. Yeah, because I need both of these. All right, well, it's, it's good enough that they're both there. That's, that's, I'm pleased. Whatever, we're scuffling a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, and now we're going to donate everything we have to the community center, pick up all the rewards we can get. Normally, our extra money is going to be clutch here because normally you can ideally finish the exotic foraging bundle here if you have, if you got like another item from the cart, but we only got the coconut. We never found a um, cave carrot or a cactus fruit or anything like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oops, wrong one. Exotic foraging. Um, that's the best we can do. Oh, I forgot to pick up my rewards. Shoot. Oh, I can just do that. That was a little slappy. That's all right. Okay, now we're going to sell everything, which is not much. We, we don't have much. Inventory management uh, needs some work. All right, that's, that's good enough. As, as long as we can upgrade our axe and then buy something from the cart, we're fine. So financially, we're okay now. Okay, so now we're going to go to Clint. We're going to upgrade our axe. We're going to run home. I almost hit the trash can. I That would have been so sad, and I would have had to reset. And now we go home and sleep until winter 5, which will be check cart if needed. It, it, it is needed. Forge bus stop, hoe all spots for yams and winter roots. Turn in all items at community center. Pick up axe from Clint. Sell everything to Pierre. Chop hardwood on the farm. Grab stone and wood. And buy the rest from Robin. And then complete the run so we're gonna need some some serious kashish from winter fifth and considering we have to buy another thing from the cart i don't know man <laughs> copper axe is ready sounds good car check is gonna be tough without the axe i can do it like later in the day because i, I want to wait until i have my axe from clint because it's gonna be hard getting down south without an axe okay all the bushes are gone that's good at least i don't need your letters um, okay, I need this, I need that. Let's go. Forage from the bus stop. Crocus, that's good. Any crystal fruit, anything like that? No, okay. Okay, not good so far. There's our yam. We need a winter root, we need a crystal fruit. Okay, we have to go south anyway uh, to look for crystal fruit. So we can do a card check while we're there. Okay, things are kind of falling apart here. Normally, if you get lucky, there's a crystal fruit at the bus stop and that makes this whole thing a lot easier. There's just a lot of factors in this run. That's the hard part. It's a lot of just leaving everything up to luck. Okay, still no root. Oh my God. I've gotten like eight snow yams. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I've gotten seven snow yams, but no winter root. Am I wrong? Maybe only snow yams can be hoed up this way and winter roots have to be from it. Never mind. I was just getting unlucky. Okay. Uh, energy's a little low. Still need to find a crystal fruit. Well, maybe not. Because if there's nothing in the cart, then I just have to sleep again. So let's check the cart. And if there's nothing, then I'll sleep until next Friday. Keep carry it. Okay. So we're done with everything but the crystal fruit. Oh boy, crystal fruit's being temperamental. I feel like it always is. Okay, let's just, we're, we're not gonna be able to finish this on Friday the 5th. Let's just keep going with the run now. Let's just go pick up our ax for now. Let's pick up the ax. Another tough part is that we can't afford to buy a lot of wood and stone right now because our money was great and then we hit really tough luck with like winter and stuff in terms of productivity. Okay, everything kind of fell apart here. That's okay. Okay, let's see. Now I need to, I need 10 hardwood. Um, I'm gonna grab all of this stuff because I have put myself in financial difficulties. Uh, let's chop some hardwood. That's wrong. I'm out of energy. Good night. <laughs> that was not great, but that's okay. We made some money. That's good. Going a little off script. I'll see y'all on next Friday, I guess. I guess we can go until Saturday because now we don't need to check the cart anymore. So see you on Saturday. This is all kind of falling apart. This is what usually happens. Everything goes great as long as I can stick to the route. And then one thing goes wrong and I have to go off script. And I guess I can't do that very well. 
because <laughs> I don't know enough about the game to be able to just be like, this is a good route. I just have to like follow directions. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Find hardwood to chop. I don't even know where it is. I don't even know where the stumps are. Oh, they're on the left side of the farm, you moron. Okay, here we go. Okay, well now I have to do this nonsense again. Get into the left side. Oh, that was actually quite easy. Okay, I made it. Okay, now we're going to check the bus stop and just pray that there's a crystal fruit. Because, like, please. Crystal fruit. Ding, ding, ding. Everything is going to change. We're going to go to community center, donate everything we've got, and then we're going to go down to Pierre's, sell it all, all of our, all of our, like, rewards, and then we're going to go up to Robin, buy all the wood and stone we need, and then we should be able to finish the run. I don't know, but I think. All done, and now I'm going to leave. And now I'm going to leave. Bye. Right at nine. Oh, my God. Perfectly timed. Get out of here, Pierre. Okay, now I can definitely afford everything. Now we're going up to Robbins. This is where we end the run. Finally. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, we need 99 stone and we need 199 wood. 198 wood. I need I need um I need 68 stone. So we'll just buy 70. I need I need to buy 70 stone and I need to buy like 160 wood. There it is. We could afford it all. Oh my god. Buy a lot too. We probably didn't need to stop by Pierre then to sell the reward it's fine you know what everything's cool because we're about to finish the crafts room and god knows how long this took probably more than 40 minutes because i definitely floundered for for a good bit trying to figure out what to do in winter all right there we go and we can stop the timer when the screen flashes white you know the drill we've done this a million times okay we have the junimos keep us the forest uh-huh i'm aware and time and let's check the time wow 3318 Wow, that's a huge improvement. 33 minutes, 18 seconds. I'm going to go to speedrun.com and see where that puts me on the leaderboard. Maybe not high, but remember, my personal goal was just to get sub 40, and I crushed that. We can do way better than that, though. We can do even better. I kind of want to try this again. World record is 25 minutes, 31 seconds, so definitely not that. Oh, boy. Yeah, a bunch of people have, like, a ride around, like under half an hour that puts me in 21st i'm in 21st place for the crafts room run i can do better though i and i think that's gonna do it i know i said i was considering giving it another go um because of our like cart luck could technically be better but i i don't know i'm hungry so i kind of want to call it here i'll make yet another one of these in the in the near future so thank you very much for watching uh, i really appreciate it and i'll have a lot more speedrun stuff coming out in the near future so make sure to subscribe if you want to catch those when they come out all right thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in a few days goodbye Damn.